Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, to the channel IT Simplified. I hope you're doing good with your family and friends. In today's session on Azure and Backup Exit, I'm here to show you how you can integrate your Azure file storage with Backup Exit. So as more and more customers, they start moving their Azure file storage or moving their files over to Azure file storage, they need to protect it still because it's still in the cloud and you need to back it up. And for customers who are already using Backup Exec, now they can use with the latest version and protect their file shares within this file storage. Now for this demonstration, what I've done is I've already got a BE server with the name VBE. It is attached to a directly attached storage. It's a disk-based storage, which will be acting as a backup repository. And on the Azure side, I have a Azure file storage with the name ABC Cloud SA1, and it has two share FS1 and FS2, and these are the two things that we'll utilize for our demonstration. And any of these two things, if you don't know how to configure, I have detailed videos and step-by-step -step instructions on my channel. You can go and check that out. So with this in place, let's get started. I will go to my BE console. And the first thing I want to show you is that under installation and licensing, if I go to the install updates, I'm running the latest one. And if you want to use this feature, you need to be on 21.1 version. If I go to configuration and setting and login account, go to manage login account, we'll create a new login account to integrate this Azure file storage. So I'll give it a name with the name Azure backslash, and I need to grab the storage account name. So ABC Cloud SA1 is my storage account. If I go under settings and access key, I'll copy this storage account. And for the password, I need to just pick any of these keys. By default, Microsoft will create two accounts for you, key one and key two. You can pick any of these key. Let me just grab key one and provide this under the password. You can give it a unique account name. I'll just leave it to Azure. If you want to give a description or put in notes, you can do this. Click on OK. So it's added the login account successfully and I'll close this window by clicking on OK. Now the second step will be to add that file storage and it is not different to adding any other server on the BE console site. So I'll right click and go to add server. And you can see that uh, this has been listed under the file server and DP data server file share and even AWS FSX. So for this demonstration, we are using Azure file share. So let me just go and highlight this. Go and click on next. Check the box to establish a trust with the server. And under the name of the server, I will go to the Azure console. And if I go to the storage account under properties, you see under file service, this is the name I need to give. So I can just copy this part. And click on add, go to next and make sure, and this very important step, use the account, the one that we just created for this storage specifically and go to next. You get a brief summary of the selection and click on finish. So as you can see that uh, after a couple of seconds, this account has been added successfully. And this is like now acting as any other server which I can use to back up the data and restore the data. All I can control this from the backup exec console. So in this video, we saw how you can integrate BE 21.1 with Azure file storage. Hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.